YouTube channel. Like and subscribe for more content like this. What is up YouTube? My name is Lane. This is going to be top five baits that I use. Coming at number five, we have, excuse me, the Culpit Tomato. They are seven and a half inches. This is what it looks like. I have used these a couple of times. I use this worm because it's sparkly and it will definitely get like the fish's attention. And so this this works good when the sun's out and so it because the sun goes off of these uh, sparkles. Yeah, this is bait number five. Coming in at number four, we have the Zoom Super Salt Watermelon Seed. They're the four inch, yeah, they're the four inch. They're shorter lizards. Yeah. I use these when I see lily pads or anything um, standing up. I just throw this in here. It's that. It's like that, like that scummy pond type color. That scummy pond type color. And um, so it's gonna create like what's look like uh, like a frog color. You know what I'm saying? So um, bass totally love this. I catch tons of fish off this bait. Really re recommend it. Okay, getting into number. Three, we have the white zoom seven no six inch lizards white. These one of my best baits that I use. These baits are um, they're only like two dollars at Walmart. All the zoom baits that I show you are all like two dollars from like Walmart, and um, they work super good. So this white bait. I use it just, I throw it really anywhere. It always catch me fish. I really recommend this bait right here. Catch you a lot of fish. It is um, top water, I'm pretty sure. I think it's top water, I think. So you really, early in the morning, throw this. Or like, I meant late in the afternoon, like throw this, really catch you some fish. And coming in at number two, we have rooster tails. Rooster tails work great. They work great with brown, bass, any, really, they work with trout, any, because they, they work with trout because they're flashy. Trout like flashy stuff. And I like to, with a rooster tail, I always like to go with um, this brass, this brass um, thing on the side. And these, these two right here, I have a white one and I have like a tiger white with a little bit of red in there. And these have a, they have a trailer hook almost on the bottom. I usually catch them on the trailer hook. So it's a, I think it's a good thing to have them on. These catch me a lot of fish, especially if you have like a smaller one. This is also like a kind of bigger one. Um, if you got a smaller one, works great. Catch fish all day long. In the early morning, you want to throw that perfect bait. Coming in at number one, we have Moccasin Blue Lizards. They are six inches again. Number one bait to use, I recommend. Moccasin Blue Lizard. Lizards, as y'all can tell. I have a lot of lizard baits. I use this pretty much anywhere. You can throw it anywhere, uh, fish corners, throw it in the corners, um, anything, any brush you see, throw it up in there. Catch fish anywhere with these, with this. I highly recommend getting this bait. They come in a, a pack of, um, I think nine, they come in nine, nine of them. And uh, they, really la they really last you. I actually need to get a new one. I only have one left of this one. So yes, that is my five best baits that I use to fish around the local ponds. And now let's talk about the line I use. The line I use is spider wire. It is braid. It is a 15 uh, pound braid. 
it works good. It, it never fails me. Uh, it, I never uh, break off anything. With the rooster tails, I would really um, advise tying it tight because sometimes they come off for me tying them with this line. I don't know, but I really, this is a good line. It's uh, very inexpensive. It's like, I think like $7 at Walmart or something. Walmart has some good stuff. I don't know what it's doing. I'm trying to fix it. It's just messing up. So, 15 pound line, easy braid. Works good in dirty water. Now, if you're trout fishing or anything like that, don't use this braid. They will see it because trout has really good eyesight. And so, they'll see any really line. So, they're in there just back away from it. The types of hooks I use. Types of hooks I use is usually Eagle Claw. Um, they're cheap. These are three fifty nine for I think a eight eight count of hooks you get um, for three fifty nine. They are razor sharp, <laughs> laser sharp, razor sharp. These hooks right here. These are a size three, size three. Razor sharp. Ow. Okay, coming into the first rod that I use. This rod. I usually use this rod with um, these, the worms, and sometimes I use I I use it with the with the lizards, but not not a lot. It's this rod is a Shakespeare, and it is it's medium action, medium. Pretty sure. This is the next rod I use. It's a bait caster. It's um correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if I'm saying this name right. It's a quantum quantum fishing rod. It's pretty nice. Has some nice catch a lot of fish on it. Medium. Yeah, this is a medium. That's a nice. I think I got this rod at Walmart for like I think I got this rod at Walmart for like maybe 50 bucks. It's, I mean, it's not that expensive, but it's getting up there. And um, just a nice pull to have. This is a nice rod to use when, um, for any bass fishing, any bass fishing, you want to get a, a, a bait caster. A bait caster does good with any type of, um, you can go uh, fishing with it, fresh water or salt water. Doesn't matter, it will perform great. I would really make, recommend getting uh, a Quantum. Buy it at Walmart, it's cheap, reliable, it's not gonna break on you, any of that. If you're first starting off fishing and you wanna get a bait caster, cheap, reliable, best affordable one right here. For brim fishing, I just like, this is a Zebco 33. It's like a five foot rod. It's not that long at all. It's like, it's like a little ice fishing rod, basically. And I usually use bread. Bread in my pond, it, it, it works. It works really good. With this, you're just gonna catch, um, I usually just go after bram, sunfish, any type of panfish I can catch. This is what I'm gonna be using. This pole right here is just, it's an old bait caster. I, I used it when I first started out fishing to learn how to use a bait caster. I just didn't wanna, they just seem so hard to me to understand, and I just didn't want to mess up someone else's uh, bait caster while using it when I didn't even know how to use one. And so I use this to learn. Really helped me out. It's an old. This is an old uh, bait caster right here. It's pretty nice too. You hold this. Yeah, the button's right, right here. So you gotta push it down. Perfectly good. Fishing all types of uh. Rivers, ponds, anything. Okay, this is another rod I have. And this, I do not use anymore. This pop, this rod right here is retired. I do not use it anymore. It is called a Michelle 300A. It's passed down to me. I don't use this anymore. I used to, when I was, hey, when I first started off, I used this rod. Great rod, it just, I don't really like it. It's hard to use. That's gonna wrap up today's video. Um, 
I showed y'all what baits I'm using, what I most recommend using right here. Box in blue, zoom. The type of line I use is braid, 15 pound. Hooks, razor sharp, right here, eagle claw, laser sharp. And so, I was going to wrap it up. Till next time, I'll see you in a, another video.